大家收睇《魏方星期天》，我系 Billy 李子芬。今日星期嘅节目咧，以音乐为主，有冰上嘅音乐剧啦，有相片记载嘅音乐，仲有音乐无分疆界嘅香港电台第四台唱数节目《无限领域》。佢哋今年庆祝播放十周年，请嚟荷兰、奥地利同埋瑞士嘅乐队演出庆贺。阵间观众咧就有机会睇噶啦。我哋仲會訪問英國搖滾攝影師 Rock Archive 嘅創辦人 Joe f o r m a n o s k i 等佢話俾大家知相機鏡頭下嘅搖滾樂究竟有啲咩唔同。柴可夫斯基嘅芭蕾舞劇《胡桃夾子》咧，可以話係大家耳熟能詳嘅聖誕樂章。香港芭蕾舞團會喺十二月份演出全新嘅版本。咁除此之外咧，而家喺香港演藝學院仲有由冰上皇族演繹嘅冰上版。提一提大家啦，如果你系想睇嘅话咧，仲有机会喎，因为今日系演出嘅最后一日。We just to show that we do something unique, which is the introduction of the Nutcracker doll. And in most productions, what they'll do is they'll bring out a doll for you. It's like a wooden carving. And I just thought it'd be nice to do something new, so I found a, a very petite gymnast. And she actually represented the Nutcracker doll, which is the present that Drosselmeyer gives to、um, his niece. And it just gives a, a different way of showing that character. You know, there's a doll that comes to life that then gets broken. That was the first piece we did. 芭蕾舞剧《胡桃夹子》儿童故事《胡桃夹子与老鼠王》为蓝本。故事系德国作家 E.T.A. Hoffman 响一八一六年写嘅。柴可夫斯基当时受聘于圣彼得堡嘅帝国剧院。剧院向一八九二年请佢同编舞家 Maria p a t i p a 合作为故事改编而成嘅芭蕾舞剧创作音乐。今日胡桃夹子大受欢迎，但系首演嘅时候观众并唔系咁受落。佢哋好中意啲音乐，但系就对舞蹈唔系咁大兴趣。到咗一九四零同五零年代，美国嘅芭蕾舞团开始响圣诞节演出呢个剧目。一九五四年，纽约城市芭蕾舞团开始一年一次演出乔治巴兰恩嘅版本。由一九六零年代开始，圣诞节公演胡桃夹子变成一个传统，甚至喺香港都有演出。芭蕾舞剧亦被改编成动画同舞台剧。冰上皇族结合溜冰同埋杂技，响冰上演出呢个剧目。We've done our version is based upon Tchaikovsky, the composer's writings,、um, which are very, very different.、Um, In lots of subtle ways. So, you know, in ballet, it's quite a dark story. Act one's very dark, and it has a different、um, end to it. Not what the composer wanted. You know, the composer wanted this light-hearted winter's tale of love. 上皇族嘅版本由廿五位专业溜冰者担纲演出，当中好多位曾经响国际溜冰大赛入面胜出噶，不过佢哋就冇受过芭蕾舞训练，但系佢哋话唔系想象中咁重要。We're not doing ballet on ice. We're doing our own inter, you know, artistic interpretation, and I think it's wrong if people think that what they're going to come down and see is the ballet. And a lot of people think it's plastic ice. I promise you. It's realised there's 15 tons of it on the stage, all at a you know a temperature of minus eight. What they're doing on the stage is quite dangerous. You know, 30, 35 kilometres an hour, they're moving at great speed. 咖啡阿拉伯舞音乐入面扮演阿拉伯王子同公主嘅系 Fiona Kirk 同佢嘅未婚夫 Vladimir Kordakivsky。For us it was quite challenging because we are ice skaters. We were trained ice skaters from six six years old for me, three years old for him.、Uh, he used to train in the Ukraine or previously USSR at that time, and I was a skater from Cape Town. South Africa, which, as everyone knows, is not an ice skating nation at all. We're not acrobats as such. We were never trained as acrobats, so we had to use our skating skills to master our performance. Yes, we did. So、mm -hmm. exactly. So we use the speed of the ice, and we use the spin of the ice, and we use our basic skating skills to do the act that we do. We don't rely on acrobatic skills for it, which we we could never master now at this age. All the skaters that I'm skating with are Russian, Ukrainian, or ex-USSR. 
So they understand exactly everything about Tchaikovsky, ballet, they've grown up with this whole culture. Flodimir is in the middle of the world. He has won a lot of Olympic games. In 1993, he won the Olympic Games in 1993. He became a Olympic Games in 1995. He played in different places. I grew up in Soviet Union time, and, this, and I never actually imagined that actually I will actually skate in, music, in Tchaikovsky music, and especially in theater. I was seriously, it's very good experience for me, new and very good one. It's symbolic. The story is beautiful. I mean, you know, it's all about a Christmas present that's given to a young girl, and, and it's her dreams behind her present. And I think also the, the theatrical staging. You know, it's a winter's it's a winter's tale. <laughs>